Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Many of you have asked me uh, to do a video on setting up an external HCD cluster while provisioning a Kubernetes cluster. So if you've been following my YouTube channel, all the Kubernetes cluster provisioning that I've done, I've always used the kubeadm init method. It comes with its own HCD as a part. So I have, I've never used external HCD cluster, but based on your request, I planned to do a series of videos. Let me go to my Kubernetes repository and all the, all my kubeadm provisioning will have let me go to the doc section and we've got the cluster installation on CentOS 7 or Ubuntu 20 whichever documentation of mine if you choose I always use the kubeadm init method to provision the cluster and if you're using a kubeadm init method depending on whether you are setting up a single master or multiple master using kubeadm init method the kubeadm initialization phase will also provision you an hcd pod it will provision you a pod in each of your master node okay so if you're provisioning multiple master nodes each node will get its own hcd cluster we call it a stacked topology so basically you are stacking the hcd component on top of other master components that run on the master machine like api server scheduler controller manager and you put HCD on top of that. So if one of the master node goes down, it also takes the HCD node along with it. So it's not a pure highly available thing because it's clustered into the master node itself. So that's what you get basically by default if you use kubeadm. That's what I've been doing for all, on all my videos. This time let's do it slightly differently. So we're gonna set up an external HCD cluster. So HCD is just a cluster of machines and where you can store key value data. In the next video, I will show you how we can set up a very simple HCD cluster, but the topology is going to be this. Master machines in your Kubernetes cluster will be talking to an external HCD cluster. In the previous diagram, the previous topology, uh, the way it works is the API server in this master can only talk to this local HCD pod. And this API server component in this master will talk only to its own HCD. But this HCD cluster will make sure that the uh, the individual HCD components are up to date and are in sync with each other. But this API server can only talk to its local HCD component. But here, all the masters will commonly talk to an external HCD cluster. All right, so this is what we will be doing in the next video, right? So we will be setting up a very simple three node HCD cluster, HCD one, two, and three. And then in the following video, I will show you how to set up encryption between these HCD nodes. So just to start with, in the next video, we will set up a very simple three node HCD cluster without any authentication or encryption or anything. It's gonna be very simple. So HCD one, HCD two, HCD three, they talk to each other on port 2380 to keep them in sync. And 2379 is the port which listens for connection from the client. That will be a very simple HCD cluster installation. And the following video, the video after that, we will start over again and then in a proper way, like how to set up TLS encryption, the communication, the traffic going between the HCD nodes and also the communication coming in from the external clients. It needs to be encrypted, needs to be authenticated. Okay, so that will be our second video. And then finally, we will set up a Kubernetes cluster we would have got our HCD cluster by the end of second video. And then in the final video, we will set up Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so I was about to show you this HCD pod. I've already got a Kubernetes cluster running. kubectl get nodes, kubectl minus n. If I look at the parts in the cube system namespace, you can see um, HCD kmaster.example.com. Because I'm running a single master cluster, and I've got one HCD pod. It's a pod, you don't normally see any daemon set or a deployment for this because it's a static pod. Let me log into that uh, kmaster, ssh root at kubeadmin. And if I go to etc, kubernetes manifest, ls etc.yaml. So that's the static manifest. If I take a look at that, so that's the HCD binary and we are given these options, the HCD binary, and where is the image? Images hcd 3.4.13. Okay, that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will just set up a very simple HCD cluster. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.